Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. In today's webinar, we will be discussing about our products uh, EMWorks 2D and EMS. We will simulate uh, electromagnetic limitation system using EMWorks solution inside SOLIDWORKS. This webinar is presented by EMWorks Incorporation. Before discussing today's agenda, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Ehsan and I'm a sales engineer in our company. And we will have my colleague Majdi today, who is a senior application engineer in EMWorks. He will be delivering the technical part of today's webinar. Before we move on, uh, I would like to highlight a few points. During this presentation, uh, if you have any question, please feel free to use the chat window to, to, to type in your question. We will answer them at the end of the presentation or we reply to you via emails. Uh, also, the webinar recording link will be sent to all of the registrants and attendees in a few days. Our agenda for today is the following. Uh, I will briefly talk about our company, EMWorks, where we are located, and what products we offer. Then my colleague will pre present the technical part. At the end of the technical presentation, I will talk about uh, various learning resources offered by EMWorks for the software users. EMWorks offers 3D and 2D electromagnetic simulation software as an add-in tool for SOLIDWORKS and Autodesk Inventor 3D CAD. Our company was founded in year 2000. We have a vast sales network in the form of two offices and a global research reseller channel. We provide our solution and services directly or through a reseller in America, Europe, and Asia Pacific. Our company has a strong research and development team with years of experience in the field of electromagnetics. Our products are gold certified by Dissolved System SolidWorks Corporation since 2008. We have two offices, uh, two office locations and our headquarters in Montreal, Canada. We offer four products with various ads on covering a wide, free, wide frequency range. Our first product is called EMS, which is used for electrical and electric and magnetic field modeling for low frequency applications. It, covered, it covers many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnet actuators, circuit breakers, transformer, and motors. Second product is HFWorks, which is used for electromagnetic simulation of RF, microwave, high frequency and high speed electric, electrical and electronic devices. It covers applications including wide range of antenna, resonators, filters, connectors, waveguides, and etc. Our third product is EMWorks 2D which offers static analysis and covers simulation of planar and axisymmetric ge geometries. Our latest addition is Motor Wizard, which is a template-based motor design software. It offers analytical and finite element analysis for BLDC and PM motors. In addition to these uh, solvers, we offer few multi-physics solutions like thermal, motion, linear statistics, and circuits. In today's webinar, Majdi will utilize both EMS and EMWorks 2D software to simulate an electromagnetic levitation system. This combination will give you a comprehensive solution that address, addresses truly wide range of applications with different level of complexity and different realistics and conditions. 
I would now request Majdi to take over and present the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Hello, thank you Isan. Hello dear attendees. Thank you all for taking time and joining us in today's webinar. In this session, we were gonna speak about electromagnetic levitation phenomenon and its applications. We will see how we can use our proposed solution to solve the main design challenges posed by such application. Before we start talking about our topic, let's have a quick view of our agenda for today's presentation. So, after a brief introduction, we will list some of the main interesting applications of magnetic levitation, especially maglev trains. Then, we will identify some key design issues that could be faced when we want to study such system. To overcome these issues, we will introduce our solution in which through some examples and live demonstrations, we will get closer look. Finally, we will end our presentation with a conclusion about what we will see. As a refresh memory, magnetic levitation is a method by which an object is suspended in the air with no support other than magnetic fields. The fields are used to reverse or counteract the gravitational pull and any other counter accelerations. It's a highly advanced technology, it has various uses. The common point in all applications is the lack of contact and this nowhere or, or friction. This increases efficiency, reduces maintenance costs and increases the product lifespan. The magnetic levitation technology can be used as an efficient technology in the various industries. There are already many countries that are attracted to maglev systems. Many systems have been proposed in different parts of the world. However, the technology most commonly associated with the term maglev is in the mind of the general public is high-speed mag maglev trains. Magnetic levitation phenomena is applied in wide range of applications like aerospace, nuclear and military purposes, etc. In addition to these applications, there are plenty of more innovative and futuristic ideas based on magnetic levitation such as alien mask, mask hyperloop, flying cars, personal rapid transit and more these ideas are being concreti concretized faster thanks to some new user technologies like computer added design and simulation in this session we were gonna focus on the application of magnetic levitation trains based in both electromagnetic and electrodynamic suspension electromagnetic suspension uses the attractive force between the magnets present in the bottom side of the train and the guideway to lift the train. The, train. the magnets in the left and right sides of the train are used to eliminate any lateral displacement. This, this method is easier to implement and it works even for zero speed. While in electrodynamic suspension, which is more stable at high speed, the levitation is achieved through repulsive magnetic forces produced dur during the movement. So, to build and prototype an electromagnetic or electrodynamic levitation system, we need to go through several key design issues. These issues are mainly investigating the magnetic fields to avoid steel saturation, getting an idea about the induced eddy currents and the electromagnetic losses, the generated forces are different situations. We need also to cover many design scenarios to create efficient and innovative product. Mechanical quantities like uh, uh, speed and displacement need to be calculated as well. In some situations, the combination of both linear and rotary mo motion is required and the heat generation has to be estimated. Due to the complexity of these issues and their impact on the product, simulation is the best solution to tackle such a problem. 
In this context, we invited, we invited you to explore our complete solution that can help an engineer to study and design more efficient magnetic levitation system in less time. EMWorks provides a complete solution or complete simulation solution that can help designers to study and solve the different issues can be posed by a maglev trainers and in general a magnetic levitation system. Our solution offers a 2D and a 3D electromagnetic simulation or a solution covering both magnetic and electric fields. EMS is our 3D electromagnetic simulation software, while EMWorks 2D consists of a 2D simulation tool. They can help to compute different results, both they can help to compute different results including magnetic fields, forces, losses, etc. At the earliest stage of the design, 2D analysis is recommended because it increases the productivity, reduce time to market and improve efficiency of a final product. In addition to that, what makes our solution unique is being integrated inside SOLIDWORKS and Autodesk Inventor. These two powerful tools offer more modeling options and flexibility to accurately and effortlessly convert your innovative ideas into CAD models ready for simulation. Multi-configurations feature of SOLIDWORKS allows to test and solve different design configuration within the same model. Switching from 3D geometry to 2D geometry is automated using MRS 2D. It means that if you have a 3D geometry, you can easily convert it into the model using an automat automatic feature. And going back and forth is seamless between, I mean, between 3D and 2D models. Parametric studies can be performed as well using our solution to cover different design scenarios like computing the force versus air gap distance, deviation, and input current. We may also use SOLIDWORKS distance and angle matrix, sketch dimensions, and more as variables. So this helps us to cover more design scenarios and we run the simulation versus different geometrical and simulation variables. However, these simulations can be sufficient for electromagnetic levitation, but not for the case of electrodynamic levitation, which needs the motion analysis. So I mean for electromagnetic levitation, we can use parametric studies only to get some force results and maybe some field and so on but in case the, uh, in case we want to simulate or solve electrodynamic levitation system need motion coupling is needed so for this reason our solution allows motion coupling calculation with both 2d and 3d simulations so the, the coupling to SOLIDWORKS motion in 3D simulation offers a wide range of features and allows most complicated and real life sim situations. We can combine both linear and rotary motions and couple to multi directions forces. It means that you can couple a multi or a multi axis forces to your SOLIDWORKS motion. Touching fixed. The touching fixed and moving parts case is supported as well in case you want to include some friction coefficients. So usually in uh, simulation software we need to have a gap between fixed and moving parts. In our side in some cases we will we can allow this touching uh, between these moving and fixed and stationary parts and it's possible to solve them. So you can define some friction coefficients in SOLIDWORKS motion and get the results of that. So we can as well include gravity, spring, initial velocity in SOLIDWORKS motion and these all we can be treated by the coupling to SOLIDWORKS motion. So this can ensure a most complete motion solution coupling. All together our solution is made to answer most of the design challenges and helps engineers, designers, and managers to improve productivity, efficiency, and efficiency of their products. In what is left of our presentation, we're going to see some of the capabilities, not all of them, of our solution with concrete examples.
This is an electromagnetic levitation system used in semi and high speed maglev trains. It is composed mainly of F type rail guidance guidance and levitation magnets. The 3D geometry of the model is created using SOLIDWORKS. It represents a planar symmetry as it is recommended to start with a 2D simulation to save time and decrease the design iterations. The levitation magnets are used to lift the train and the side, and the side magnets are added to maintain it at a specific lateral position. Having native 3D geometry doesn't mean that you should go all the way to extract a 2D model. It needs only a few steps to get a 2D geometry ready for simulation using EAMORS 2D. In addition to making this conversion straightforward, this automatic features saves the 3D original model as well. So it helps to uh, provide a coexisting between 2D and 3D geometry. So we will be able to work with both of them at the same time with the same model. We performed some parametric analysis where the air gap distance along y direction is varied. The magnetic field results are computed and generated for each scenario. The field increases when the air gap becomes smaller. Smaller. So fringe, vector, and streamlines are some of our solution post-processing options to check field results. They help to better understand, understand your system and how it behaves. In this slide, we can see the force plot versus air gap distance at the left figure and versus both air gap and current in the right side. The force decreases when the air gap becomes bigger and it increases with the current. So, and this is expected. Now we will focus to study the impact of the lateral displacement of this, uh, of the, on the results. As you can see, the defined distance between F-type rail and the magnet is used as a parametric variable. Some field plots are attached in this slide. Since we have both 2D and 3D models at the same environment, we can superimpose the 2D plots with the 3D geometry, as you can see in the right bottom figure. Here are the force results of both levitation and guidance magnets. It can be seen that both results are decreasing when the deviation becomes important. That's what it is crucial. Uh, that's what it is crucial. Uh, it means that it is a crucial condition to ma maintain the train stable in one in one position, which is the aligned position. After we study the relative position of both levitation and guidance magnets regarding the rail, we are trying now to increase the produced levitation force by changing the bottom magnet design. Using SOLIDWORKS multi-configuration feature, we solve several designs within the same geometry. So as you can see, we have three configurations. We can switch between, uh, between both of them or all of them through EMWORKS Studio or EMS3 seamlessly. So you can compare results like fields, forces between different designs. This feature helps to make such tasks easier and faster i mean designing new new uh, configurations so we are going to compare three designs as shown in this slide both new uh, designs contain permanent magnets in addition to electromagnets so uh, as you can see we can combine permanent magnets and electromagnet simulation this should lead to increase the lifting force as can be seen in this slide Using the added magnets, we can notice that the magnetic field increased on the modified structures. And this can be observed as well on the force results. Compared to the original design, the force increased in the new designs. But only for the third design, we got huge increase on the force results. At the end of this section, we can conclude that our 2D software can be used to accurately predict the different parameters of a magnetic levitation system 
it covered most of the design challenges of a such application before we continue so our uh, presentation we will uh, have a quick live demonstration of emr 2d inside solidworks then let's switch to solidworks environment now we are inside solidworks this is uh, our uh, study uh, model magnetic levitation system so as we mentioned earlier emr 2d and ems both of them are fully integrated inside solidworks let's click on emr 2d tab so this is emr 2d environment so uh, you can we can use a 2d or we can start with a 3d geometry then convert it into a 2d model then simulate it or we start to create a 2d geometry from scratch using solidworks so here we started with a 3d geometry then we will or we use it emr 2d 2d simplification feature to generate a 2d model so using this option you can extract a 2d model from your 3d original geometry so let's click here and select your corner system based on the symmetry that you you are using then click then you will get your uh, 2d model uh, generated and ready for simulation okay uh, let's use another option to show only the 2d model so because the 2d simplification doesn't delete the 3d model it keeps both of them both 2d and 3d models let's delete the show the 2d geometry so as you can see this is what we were solving so this is our 2d geometry let's maybe show as well yes okay so this is the outer region and these our model parts okay let's try to create a new study so uh, emr 2d came with a couple of uh, electromagnetic modules so we can do perform magnetic simulations and electric field simulation as well so we have also the uh, this parameterization feature it allows to parameterize both geometrical and simulation variables let's see this option coupling option so we have or we have the possibility to couple our transient magnetic simulation to rotational motion let's try to show the interface so as you can see you can define the speed initial angle and movement component and so on so this is basically the first step is to create a new study then then after that you should define the materials boundary condition you can define coils you can define the force or torque you want to compute then we have meshing section and results folders so we have a couple of results like results table contains force and ductance resistance matrices and so on and you have field plots like flux electric field magnetic field h field and current current density and so on okay let's just check this uh, option this as we uh, mentioned it as well so this is a multi configuration feature of solidworks we have three designs here and you can toggle between them at any moment so you can switch from design one to design three to design two then from two to three check results compare results and so on let's say for example here this is our original design then let's enable the second design yeah as you can see the geometry changed and now we have the second design we can plot check results and unsolve or modify something and solve again yeah this is basically what is emr 2d as well we can mention as well uh, the material library so we have a rich and well organized material library it contains uh, ceramics cables conductor materials electric steel with bh curves pb curves and so on so and you also you can add or modify your material as you as required okay 
let's go back to our uh, sim uh, presentation in the upcoming slides we will focus on, on electrodynamic levitation this we are going to use an electrodynamic wheel to illustrate this application the rotation and or translation of a circular held back array above or below a passive conductive gateway generates induced eddy currents. According to Land's law, this will occur to an opposite magnetic field and later will create both lift and thrust forces. In this section, we will study both steady state and dynamic response of this wheel using 2D and 3D simulation. The motion coupling is needed in this case to generate the induced eddy currents. Since the geometry has a planar symmetry, we will continue using Yammer's 2D at the beginning. Same feature is used to convert quickly the 3D to 2D geometry. The moving rotor is made of several poles radially magnetized. In this slide, we wanted to show the difference between having normal in-out magnets, normal magnetization direction, and an arranged hellback configuration. If we compare both results, we can notice unlike without hellback, the feed is going in both directions, while in case of the hellback, the feed is favorized in one direction, as you can see in the bottom right figure. This helps to reduce losses and increase the efficiency of our system. So we can uh, try other configuration, maybe we can get better favorized field in one direction. Here are some animations of both magnetic field and eddy currents are shown. So we can see some the animation, the rotation of the magnetic, uh, the magnetic rotor and the generated eddy currents in the plate, in the top conductive plate. After performing a couple of analysis, we extracted the results of both levitation and the thrust forces versus time and at different air gap. So uh, we can see Fx and Fy increases or increase till reaching their steady state after a few milliseconds and their peak values depends on the air gap. They are directly proportional to the, this distance. So as you can see, with a smaller air gap, we got a smaller uh, or a, uh, with a smaller air gap we got a higher force uh, in the right side the eddy current losses are shown as well in in case we want to estimate this power the dissipated power in the conductive part so we can get this eddy loss now uh, the speed is varied and we use it to different materials for the conductive part the force the levitation and the thrust force were evaluated at these conditions. So this graph shows that for both materials, the levitation force continues to increase with the, the speed, while the thrust force force decreases after certain speed. Through these simulations, where EMR study was used, we we got an idea about the steady state behavior of our system. But for more realistic simulations, where more condition, more real life conditions are or can be taken into account EMS coupled to SOLIDWORKS motion is needed. SOLIDWORKS motion is a more sophisticated coupling motion uh, analysis. So we uh, are going to see how we can combine both rotary and linear motion, include the gravity and use the generated force to move the conductive plate. So we will uh, see this in SOLIDWORKS environment. Let's switch now to SOLIDWORKS. So now we are inside SOLIDWORKS again. This is uh, EMS, uh, which is uh, our 3D simulation software, which is fully embedded inside SOLIDWORKS as well. This is uh, our electrodynamic wheel, our simulated model. Let's go to EMS tab. It's like EMR Studio like mr 2 d tab, they, they have the same uh, look and feel. And let's uh, see, okay, let's try to create, for example, 
study using EMS and see what is possible there okay so EMS uh, came with more uh, electromagnetic modules so we have six modules we can perform magnetic AC magnetic transit magnetic analysis and we can do electrostatic electroconduction and AC electric uh, simulations we have uh, the same option parameterization here and let's check the coupling capabilities we can couple our uh, magnetic or electric uh, field uh, studies to thermal structural analysis motion and as well to uh, to circuit so and we can have also a combination of them so we can we may have thermal plus structural or thermal plus motion as well so we have the option of we have two options for meshing we have adaptive of meshing and manual meshing so you can use what whatever option you want so we, if you want to go with adaption so these are some settings you can you, you may need to apply for your uh, model okay let's cancel so let's see one three so the same three we have the material list boundary conditions mesh section and results okay so let's uh, check our solid box motion study okay in this study we created a couple of settings so th this is why the, the y axis for so this is f long y axis okay as you can see and the value is zero this force will uh, will be used from ems so ems will compute this force then send sends it to uh, solidworks motion and solidworks motion will convert the the force into mechanical displacement and motion okay f long x this is f long x the same is zero because we have two kind of two kinds of forces we have a force along x and we have another force along y so we will have two different or two uh, different motions so we will have a translation along x and a translation along y direction we have the rotary motor which is used to rotate our magnetic hull back so this is the rotary motion this is the speed defined here so we can check the speed of rotation so this is our rotation speed okay and this is uh, this option of a gravity uh, is added as well this is uh, this makes the uh, simulation more realistic because in real life condition we have the gravity uh, the gravity force the gravitational force so it's going down let's see the direction of this force as you can see it's a long minus y direction let's try to animate this so as you can see our uh, magnets are rotating and the plate and this plate is like falling down why because uh, there is no magnetic forces only gravitational force is applied now okay if we run the simulation we will get we will get different results so let's see so I have already solved this analysis. Let's check the results table. Okay, let's see both F and Fx and Fy results. So as you can see, this is Fy. So there it, it increases, then it reaches a peak, then decreases when uh, uh, when this the distance their gap becomes important. And the same for this F x force okay maybe we can check the displacement along x direction this is the displacement along x direction okay so so the plate goes up to 24 millimeter along y direction let's see the displacement along x 
this is along x it goes along minus x direction and the distance is around 21 millimeter long minus x direction okay let's animate this uh, magnetic field plot and see the movement versus time as you can see yeah there is translation along y and there is some deviation along x direction And the plate didn't fall down because of the gravity uh, force. Okay, let me check another example with uh, both combining both rotary and linear uh, motion. Okay, I have this in a different session. Here is a, a modified example of the electrodynamic uh, wheel. So uh, the, the plate is extended in this model and we will see how we uh, solve or we combine both rotary and translational uh, motion within the same study. Okay, let's uh, check first a SOLIDWORKS motion study. As you can see, there is both rotary linear fx and there is fy and the gravity as settings okay let's see here as you can see there is translation and there is rotation of the Halbeck array let's check ems3 and check the results first i forgot to mention that we can couple our uh, computed force to multi-dimension or multi-axis uh, force so as you can see here we have one force applied to this plate but we can support two directions or two dimension force so we have a force fx force and fy force that is coupled to solidworks motion so this is the link between ems and solidworks motion so we compute fx then the software sends fx to the solidworks motion and fy as well and then we get uh, the motion okay so let's close this and see an animation of this okay this is an animation of the magnetic field the wheel is rotating and translating let's check the current density here we fixed the plate the plate didn't move a lot as you can see it's just small displacement the, uh, the, the induced eddy currents are generated along the uh, conductive part okay let's check maybe the force here fx and fy so as you can see here, this, uh, these are the false results versus time. If I can have a look as well on the induced and the current losses. So as you can see here, uh, the solid loss or the eddy losses in the conductive part. Yeah, so uh, to resume, so we were able to handle and simulate our electrodynamic wheel and we we were able to take into account several conditions like the gravity and translation and rota rotation motion and so on so, so basi basically this is what we can and we can support and what we can do and this is, should be or should cover all the need of such application okay so let's back to our uh, presentation 
Okay, so uh, back again to the presentation, and finally we come to our uh, to our conclusion. EMWorks uh, solution covers both electromagnetic and electrodynamic levitation systems, so we were able to solve both applications. 2D and 3D electromagnetic simulations can be performed using the solution. Uh, we have the coexistence between 2D and 3D models, an easy conversion from 3D to 2D, parametric and multi-configuration features of SOLIDWORKS and EMWORKS solution are used to increase the productivity and the efficiency. Motion coupled analysis are allowed with both 2D and 3D simulations and a combined rotary and linear motion are also uh, allowed with this solution. Yeah, thank you, thank you for your attention and I hand over the screen again to my colleague Hassan to continue the presentation. Thank you. Thank you everyone for bearing with us and I hope you have learned enough from this webinar so far. So let me briefly touch upon the licensing structure offered by EMWorks. We offer three different programs, commercial, academic, and a startup program. Each program has its own benefits and requirements. I mean, within commercial program, we offer perpetual license, uh, while in the rest of the program, our licensing structure is usually annual based. EMWorks offer various free learning resources. Uh, with the software purchase or trial, users can access the demo viewer section of the software through which they can access many predefined model examples and tutorials. In addition, uh, we post application notes, blogs, and videos on our web page and social media channels regularly. We also offer paid customized training sessions to all users of EMWorks software. I encourage everyone to try our software and experience its capabilities. Open trial request and user qualification, we offer two weeks of free access to the limited version of software. In this limited version, user can access many predefined model examples and tutorials to learn about the software features and capabilities. To request for a trial license, uh, visit our webpage www.emworks.com, go to our Contact Us page, fill in your information and submit your request. One of our representatives will reach out to you, will reach out to you. Uh, and at the end, I would like to thank you all on behalf of EMWorks for participating in this webinar. Feel free to contact us after this webinar to get more information on our products. Thank you very much and have a great day.